guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free T again. So uh, we've been doing a ton of sheet metal on this car as of late, and we're not stopping now. So this piece of cardboard here, we're going to turn it into a custom dash for the car. Uh, I do not like the factory dash that's in it. I want to get the dash sitting a little lower so it matches and fits a column drop to our uh, steering column that we, that we built. And I also want to fit in a custom gauge here and just give it a little more style like the rest of the car. So we're going to start with this cardboard, cut it down, roll some beads, make a cool dash, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. Here you can see Matt is placing the dash panel in the brake with a piece of 18 gauge that is already bent to a 90. This allows the bend at the top of the dash panel to have a softer edge instead of a harsh 90 degree bend. All right, so I got the, uh, the flange turned here. I did a bunch of it in the bead roller. Uh, what I ended up starting, to, what I ran into 
was the, uh, the Allen bolt that I have on the end. I actually needed to put a flathead Allen on it. It was running into uh, where I couldn't get the flange to 90. Uh, so I put it on uh, one of my dollies, post dollies, and hammered it down. Got it basically to 90. Um, and then what I did in a couple of shots he saw is I went on the shrinker and kind of helped some of these areas. Uh, what's fighting me is because I put these curves on the end and then in here, uh, when you tip an edge on in corners like that, you either need to shrink or stretch depending on if it's an outside or an inside curve. And with this little step here, we actually have both going on. So we have uh, an inside curve going on here and then an outside curve there. So it uh, needs to be shrunk a little bit and stretch uh, a little bit. But what's happening, and I'll try and get a shot, that it's actually a little high right here uh, in the center. The out, out in the dash here, this flat area, it's, it's actually pretty flat. It's not twisted or anything. There's a little bit of a belly in the panel right here, but I actually think that a lot of it uh, is because of this corner and this corner here, and then of course what's going on in the inside corner there. So I, what I'm going to do is work back and forth with the shrinker stretcher, working on these edges and working on the flange, and we can actually um, shrink in here. This will bring the center up a little bit. We can stretch in here. That'll bring this, this tall area down a little bit and basically the goal is to try and get it fairly flat so that we don't have any major waves in the panel um, and then we can kind of go from there but this is probably the hardest part of the step uh, to do this now you could pie cut in here and I was like this close to doing it but I'm really trying to challenge myself with doing this kind of stuff uh, because um, I I'm, I'm a half decent welder with sheet metal so I could probably a lot quicker slit this pull it around overlap it trim it and weld it and uh, you probably never know that it happened, but uh, I'd like to try and make it out of one piece uh, without doing any kind of relief cuts. So we're going to work it uh, back and forth and get it uh, all together without making any cuts and cheating. So uh, I'll keep working on this and we'll show you when we're ready to put the bead in it next.
All right, well, that was a, uh, a pretty intense project for what seemed like something that was going to be fairly simple. Um, I knew it was going to be a little difficult, but the final uh, design that I drew out for the bead um, and the lower edge of the, uh, of the dash made life like way difficult um, by doing this little Z or S shape there. Um, there was a lot going on there and tipping that edge and keeping the panel straight. Uh, it looked pretty crazy early on and the panel was all warped and, and twisted because of everything that was going on there. And it took uh, most of the night I spent on this dash was me just hammering on this edge here using the shrinker and uh, working with the anvil and, and, and the uh, dollies and hammering it around and I got it uh, pretty darn good. Uh, I, did, I just kissed it a little bit with the, uh, with the English wheel to blend out any of the little bit of waviness that was going on in the panel. And finally then when I got the panel pretty darn straight, I was happy with it, uh, I then laid out this lower bead here and we rolled uh, the step bead in the panel. And this step bead is, is the same profile that I've been doing throughout this whole car. So uh, it all flows, the firewall, uh, the floor pans, the dash, all kind of have this same uh, like gentle step to it. So when you look in the car, it all kind of flows, which I'm really happy with. Um, and the dash is pretty much done. It's, uh, it's just quicoed in the top here. I trimmed the edges down here so that it would roll in. Uh, what I'm going to do once we get a little bit further, uh, I'm going to scribe along the top of this uh, cow here, cut the cow, drop the, uh, the dash down in so that it's a, a flush uh, butt weld there. We can weld it all up and finish it out. And there's two reasons I'm doing that. One, uh, there's not going to be a lot of warping that's going on because of it being welded close to this bend here. Uh, so I'm not going to do, have to do a ton of work in there to straighten it out. Number two is, it's actually a little rusty right along this top edge here where the windshield sat and the original dash was. Uh, there's a piece of like angle iron that was uh, wrapped around there and it was a little rotten in there and really pitted. So by doing this, I'm gonna be cutting into fresh metal. Uh, it's about a half inch lip I have here. We'll cut off a lot of that really bad stuff and we'll be welding to a little bit cleaner of metal as, as good as it can get for this car. So um, I'm really happy with this. Everything worked out really well. Um, it flows awesome. I'm really happy with how it flows. And um, we'll put the wheel on here when we find the, the happy spot for the wheel here. Um, even with the wheel on, it flows. It's really subdued. And um, we're going to punch some holes in here for gauges. I just haven't decided exactly the layout yet. But, man, this thing is coming together really quick. Uh, I can't believe how much work I'm banging out with this thing now that we're into the sheet metal. That's the stuff that I'm, you know, is really quick for me and, and a lot of fun because I can get, you know, kind of creative laying out this stuff. And, uh, yeah, so... Another thing done on the free tea. So thanks guys for watching. As always, hope we found this informative and uh, you guys maybe can take some of the tips and tricks that I showed in this video and do it on your own dash. Uh, thanks guys.